Hey, Spar fans, it's Aubrey here. Sometimes you'll be working on a project and you'll realize that you have a lot going on. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to build a lockbox that can only be opened during warm weather and evening hours, and you'll have to be within a foot of to scan an RFID card to unlock. You know, something out of Indiana Jones. There are a lot of factors at play here. You'll have to read in atmospheric data, ambient light data. You'll have to track proximity and scan RFID cards. And the easiest way to handle all this data input and output is through the Quick ecosystem. But on top of that, you might have uncertainties about which kind of processor to use. You could use the new RP2040 processor, which would allow you to develop the entire project in MicroPython, but you might get to that point and realize that you'd want a text or an alert sent when the locked box is opened. So in that case, you'd want to switch over to the ESP32. The prototyping nature of this project lends itself to using MicroMod so that you don't have to port over your already made project to an entirely new setup when you change your mind about a processor. And when you have a project like this, where you want the flexibility to change a processor in the middle of a project, and you want to use a bunch of quick devices, then the new MicroMod Quick Carrier Board is perfect for you. It comes in two flavors, the single and the double board. The single board is 3.15 by 1.4 inches, and the double board is 4.1 by 1.4 inches. So, if you're looking to load up on quick accessories, then you might want to choose double the amount of space. Both boards include mounting holes and inserts for a standard 40 to 40 screw, so it's simple to mount and stack one by one quick boards. As with most MicroMod carrier boards, the MicroMod quick carrier boards have the same common components, including an M.2 MicroMod connector that lets you install your MicroMod processor of choice to the quick carrier board, a USB-C connector to connect to your computer to program your processor and provide power to the board, a 3.3 volt regulator that provides a regulated 3.3 volts and sources up to one amp, obviously multiple quick connectors mounted in a variety of ways for ease of access, and boot and reset buttons to enter boot mode on processors and to reset your MicroMod circuit. It also comes with a JST connector for attaching a single cell LiPo battery and two status LEDs on board. One is a power LED that indicates when 3.3 volts of power is available and a charging LED that indicates the status of the charging circuit operation. Let's build up one of these MicroMod quick carrier boards real quick just to see how it all comes together. It's just like stacking toppings on a pizza. First, we'll connect our processor board of choice. In this case, I chose the Artemis. And then we'll start stacking quick boards. While there's no known limit to the amount of boards you can stack, don't go too crazy and end up with a leaning tower of pizza situation. This newest addition to the MicroMod family certainly makes it easy to enable data I.O. through Quick. So there's no more reason to be overwhelmed with how much is going on in your project. All you have to do is plug the boards together with a Quick cable and screw mount it to the carrier board. Make sure to pick these up and start stacking at sparkfun.com today. And of course, Happy hacking. Hey, Spark fans. <laughs> and when you have projects like, oh my gosh. Oh, I was doing so that well. was it. Of hours and evening, they all come together. We're getting worse, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> Processor, just choking over that word. Cool. A lot of things are, we're really, we're just gonna circle back here. We're just, something, right? Yeah.